In this video, we are going to learn about azithromycin. This azithromycin comes in the brand names of Agile Tab 500mg, Agile Tab 250mg, AG Injection 500mg, AG Radius Suspension 1000mg per 5ml, and so on. Now we are going to discuss about the mechanism of action of the drug azithromycin. So the azithromycin mainly acts by inhibiting the protein synthesis of the bacteria. So now we are going to discuss about how this inhibition of the protein synthesis is going to happen in the bacteria. So if you see the mRNA of the bacteria, so this mRNA of the bacteria contains the codes which can code for the anti-amino acids. So there are these codes like AU, G, U, 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 G, G, G and so on. And also this mRNA contains these ribosomes and uh, one is 50s ribosome and the next one is 30s ribosome and there are also three subunits present in the 50s ribosome of the mRNA and these su three subunits have the specific names so the first one is the E site which is also called as exit site and the second one is peptidyl site which is also called as P site and the third one is A site or acceptor site. So there is this tRNA which contains the anticodons that can code for the specific mRNA and also the amino acid which can code for the specific codes that are present in the amino acids. So there is UAC which can code for the AUG and also the uh, amino acid which can code for the specific codes. And this enters into the P site of the 50s ribosome and this there is a tRNA which contains the anticodons UAC uh, that can code for AUG and also the methionine which is responsible for this codes. And there is another tRNA which contains another anticodons present in the mRNA that can code for the codes present in the mRNA like this AAA and also the amino acid which can code for the specific codes. And this now enters into the acceptor site, gets accepted by the acceptor site and enters into the A site. Now this tRNA binds to the codes present in the mRNA like AAA and also with the amino acid. Now, the old amino acid gets dissociated from the old tRNA and this amino acid forms a peptide bond with the new amino acid. Now the ribosome moves one triplet forward. And after this, let us see what happens after moving the ribosome to one triplet forward. Now there is this old mRNA contains the old uh, codons that can code for the specific mRNA like the old one AUG uh, and then UUU and also GGG. So after moving to the one triplet forward, the position of the mRNA will be like this. And this is the 50s ribosome and this is the 30s ribosome. Now the subunits also get changed. The P site becomes the E site. So after moving one triplet forward, the P site becomes the exit site and the A site becomes the P site. And there will be a new A site that is added to it. And this is a new A site. And now this old tRNA moves to the exit site and gets exited like uh, as follows. And this is the old tRNA. And these amino acids get bonded to each other like as follows. This is the tRNA that is present pre priorly in the A site and to the P site along with the two amino acids that are bonded to each other. And now there and this contains the anticodons that code for specific mRNA. Now there is another new tRNA that contains the new anticodons like see GGG and this contains the anticodon CCC along with the specific amino acid. Now this new tRNA enters into the A site and gets binded to the A site to the anticodons that code for the specific tRNA and also with along with the amino acid specific amino acid that can code for it. And now again the bonding forms between these two amino acids and this whole process continues until the proteins are formed. All these amino acids gets uh, continue to form proteins and like this the protein synthesis happen. So all this together make the process called protein synthesis. So I hope this protein synthesis process is clear and it was in short.
So now let us see what is this azithromycin is doing in this proteosynthesis process. So this azithromycin is going to bind to the 50th ribosome of the mRNA. So whenever this azithromycin binds to the 50s ribosome, see the blue line which I am drawing is the azithromycin drug. So this binds to the 50s ribosome. So whenever this binds to the 50s ribosome, the movement of the uh, uh, 50s ribosome to a one triplet forward doesn't happen and the addition of the new tRNA doesn't get happened and like this the protein synthesis process is going to inhibit it. So this is about the mechanism of action of azithromycin. So now let us discuss about the pharmacokinetics of the drug azithromycin. So if we see the absorption, azithromycin gets absorbed well orally and that too particularly with an empty stomach. So why this empty stomach? We are going to discuss this now. So if you see the empty stomach, so see this stomach is a bit empty means there is less content of HCL. So the HCL increases whenever the food is taken. So less HCL. And now if you take the drug with this less HCL, as the HCL is less, it gets absorbed more. So this doesn't get uh, interacted with the HCL. So whenever the drug is taken with the food in the stomach, there will be more HCL. Hence the absorption of the drug gets interrupted with this more HCL content and the absorption gets decreases. That's why empty stomach is preferred. So the distribution, it is well distributed to all the body parts and also the larger tissues. And the metabolism, it is well metabolized by the liver and the T half is greater than 50 hours and excreted excretion it is mainly excreted unchanged in the bile and also in the urine through the kidneys so now let us discuss about the uses of the drug azithromycin so this is mainly used in the respiratory tract inf infections and also the infections that is caused like h influenza pneumonia and um, pneumonia and sinusitis and also many skin infections and uh, sexually transmitted disease which is also called as STDs and like and it also has some antiviral properties and that can treat the epidemic diseases like Zika virus, rhinovirus and Ebola virus uh, and it is also used mainly in the treatment of COVID-19 recently so and the side effects of this drug are like the this causes the gastric upset and also the abdominal pain and also the side effects like um, headache and dizziness and if you see the drug interactions of the disease of this drug azithromycin azithromycin mainly inhibits the hepatic enzyme CYP453A4 so cytochrome P453A4 and the, so the drugs which are to be metabolized by this enzyme gets inhibited and interacted like the drugs theophyllin and carbamazepine and also the drugs that gets uh, metabolized with this enzyme are like warfarin and uh, digoxin especially and if you see the contraindications of the drug this drug should not be given to the people who are allergic to macrolide antibiotics and also the people who are uh, suffering with the disease myasthenia gravis and this whenever the drug is given to this people who are suffering with myasthenia gravis it causes more muscle weakness and this enhances the muscle weakness of the people that are suffering with this myasthenia gravis this drug should not be given to the people that are suffering with cystic fibrosis especially so this is all about the drug azithromycin i hope you got it